Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and today is the first review in 4K. Very excited about this, but let's get into our unboxing of the Weller 1010 soldering base station, essentially. This is something that I've been needing for a while, and I finally got it because I'm doing a major project, and we're gonna do an unboxing and testing of this incredible product and let's just get to it I'm very excited about it all right so we have a very beefy AC cable very very beefy an extensive manual ooh let's go nice and slow here ooh. so we have the soldering wand is here Wand is uh, really nice. I like the tip on it. Okay, here's the base. All right, here's the foam where you can wipe your solder tip to. Ooh, very nice. Nice wrapped plastic. Digital readout and everything, nice and small. It looks bigger than it actually is. So it looks like it would go like so. There we go, simple. Just slides right in. This is kind of small and it is replaceable because it's simply on screws. Oh, right, here we go. The tip comes right out like so. So it seems relatively simple. So we could probably get more of these tips with no problem. I have an X-Tech meter here. If you're interested in this, I'll have the link in the description below. And this is gonna make sure that this is accurate. We'll see how accurate this is just now. We're gonna use the included beefy cable. All right, so there's a method to my madness. All right, so turn this baby on. So you want to get it down to 350 degrees. So now, okay, so I want you to be able to see both at the same time here. All right, so it's dropping down in temperature. So you can see on the display where it's, it's at right now, all right? And I'm going to attach the thermometer to it. So the weather is dropping down. I have that set for 350 degrees. And it's there now. So let's put the thermometer on it and see if it's exact. I slid off of it, sorry. And we're getting up there. All right, so it would appear that it's close. The temperature is constantly regulating, so it would say now it's dropping. Now it's increasing again. That's interesting. So it looks like it takes a 30 degree drop. 20 degree drop. Whoop, I slid off. My, my mistake. It's very hard. I'm trying to do this so I'm not burning my hand at the same time. So it looks like it goes as high as 367 degrees. 385. Wow. Now remember, I'm, I'm at the tip of the iron right now. So we have it set for 350. And it went to 370. 375. Holy macaroni. Now it's dropping. So what's really cool about this, we can actually offset this temperature a little bit, I'm hoping. There we go. So what we could do, because of the inaccuracy of the device, we can actually offset the temperature, even though it's just 400. We want to make sure that we maintain the 400 degrees. We can offset it, and it's me moving again. We're not in sleep mode or standby, so there we go. We can get to the 400 degrees, 405. This is good. So, all right, this is a much better, um, much better thing that I thought. So this is good. So. We can offset the temperature on the device to maintain the 400 degrees that we need if we need 400 degrees or 350, whatever. So we can off offset the temperature. So it's slightly off than what it actually is. So that's like kind of sort of calibrating the, the device. If you don't have an X-Tech device like this and you require to have 350 degrees, but it's only measuring 320 or 330, that could be a problem, especially with type of solder that you are using. 
So um, I'm going to give this a Joe Tech Tips four star rating. Um, I haven't really used it yet in a project, but in terms of the temperature control and the offset capability, I find that positive, but doesn't quite give it the Joe Tech Tips instant awesome rating or five star rating just because of that issue. It has it built in that you can offset it. Why doesn't it just maintain it automatically? So, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.